Hello first grade scientists, Miss Hutchinson here in my backyard again for more science lab. This week I actually have a mystery science lesson for you that I think should be super fun. But I just wanted to check in with you as well and see what you thought all about shadows. That's what we're working with this week, shadows. Now, how are shadows made? Sunlight, you guys know that already. That's so awesome. Now do shadows always look the same? No, they don't, you're right. But what is it that makes a shadow? I hope you give that mystery science lesson a try as it really does a good job at looking at how shadows and light interact. But in case you're looking for something more or something different, I have another easy activity you can try out at home. You can actually track a statue's shadow. It's really simple. I'm gonna lay out the steps for you in case you wanna try it at home. Want to try tracking a statue's shadow at home? It's easy. Follow these steps. Find a small statue, like an action figure, doll, toy, or something similar. Choose a spot outside that is in the sun for most of the day. Place your statue on a piece of paper. You may need to tape it down. And place the paper in the sunny spot that you chose. If you have space and chalk, you could also choose to just trace your shadow on the ground instead of paper, whatever works for you. Trace your statue's shadow starting around 8 in the morning and then again every hour or so. What did you notice about your statue's shadow? Did you try it out? I did. Want to see what I found? Let's take a look at what I found when I tracked a statue's shadow for a day. Here's my first tracing of the day at about 8.30 in the morning. His shadow didn't even fit all the way on the paper. Then I traced again at 9.51 in the morning. The next shadow tracing happened at 10.41 in the morning. During lunch, I was able to get outside and trace my statue's shadow at 12.19 p.m. The afternoon got busy and I wasn't able to get back out to trace a shadow until 2.20 p.m. The next tracing happened at 3.41 p.m. I traced my statue's shadow for the last time at 4.43 p.m. Once again, his shadow didn't fit on the page. At the end, here's what my statue with all of its shadow tracings looked like from the front, and here's what it looked like when I look at it from above. What do you notice about the shadows that I traced from my statue? What did you notice in my experiment? Did I move my statue at all? I promise I didn't move it. But did the shadow stay the same? It didn't, did it? So what made that shadow move? The sun. We see the sun move across the sky, but it doesn't quite work that way. I hope you check out that mystery science lesson because again, it really does a good job at showing you how shadows and light interact with each other. And until I see you next time, little scientists, stay curious.